Hi there guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing some Escape from Tarkov. Now, I've been playing a bunch of this. As you can tell, my character is pretty decently kitted out. Not amazing, but I have gotten a pretty decent locker here. This gun right here is like one of the most expensive in the game. So guys, instead of running my PMC here, which I could possibly do, I'm going to run my SCAV instead. Now, if you don't understand how Tarkov works, pretty much you get a SCAV and then a PMC. Your PMC is your main character, the guy that you take all of your best loot and put onto. Now, I recently died, so my PMC is looking a little terrible, but my SCAV here, right, you get Get random loot and random everything so even though i'm wearing sandals right now and a revolving shotgun slash rifle thing this is my scab this is the guy that i have to go out in and then you have your pmc right here who has his own health pool his own skill tree and his own maps as well as his own task that he needs to complete my scab hasn't really gone on many raids because i kind of have a little bit of gear fear being a new player someone who plays this game a lot will probably look at this and be like oh that's not that much loot but honestly it's what i have there's different type of healing items like the car right here will help you heal up your body the aglin will help you with pain and relief bandages help you with small bleeds cats help you out when you need blood loss as well as broken bones having an afac is also really nice because it heals up a bunch of things you have to monitor your temperature your health your toxicity your radioactivity your energy your water amount though it's not shown here your carry weight everything has a weight to it oh before i forget we also have a thing called a hideout pretty much how a hideout works is that you can build up your things you can go into raids and collect these materials here to build workbenches or water collection or vents better nutrition unit better heating better resting better health making everything as long as you have the components here you can do it right now if we were going to look out in a raid i need to get these bottle of vitamins to be able to make a med station if i want to make the workstation i need to look out for some screw nuts as well as being able to actually enter your hideout and go in here you can even test out your weapons let's try out my mp5 here it's nice to just be able to test out your weapons when you need to especially since guns have recoil you need to learn to control that, especially in a raid. Enough talking, how about we just escape from Tarkov? Now, there's different times you can load in. Each one has their advantages and disadvantages. Like, going in at nighttime would allow you to have a better ability to run around and not be spotted by people. How both thermals and lights will be kind of an issue. Coming in at daytime, there will be less PMCs. There are random boss spawn around the map. As long as you don't kill too many of your, your fellow scab friends, you won't have to worry about them unless you're a PMC. It's a lot of micromanaging, and it's actually really freaking fun. I haven't even gotten into the fact that you can literally customize your weapons however you want. This game is super in depth, and I really love it. Okay, so right now I spawn on the shoreline, and if you see in the top right, you can see the fine extraction point. Now, each of these have their own things. I can pull it up one more time just so you can see it again. Each of these ones have their own prerequisites. Some of them you might need something different to do, but right now we spawn on the shore, which leaves us pretty out in the open, but as long as other scavs know the rules of scaving, you don't really have to worry. Only thing you have to worry about is running into PMCs, but around 12 o'clock is when TMCs usually are gone. There will be some that are lingering around, but honestly, you will not have to worry about them. So that is a dead scav right there, which kind of gives me a little bit of worry. But honestly, I did join like a round when PMCs are leaving. So right here, this is what I'm talking about. By ran Holy shit, random. 40k on rubles just because? I mean, like, I'm not going to say no. Now, that's what I meant by random. You can literally get anything. And also looting. If you can't tell, you can loot. Someone is shooting, which I am not a massive fan of. That could also be a bot shooting at a PMC, which is highly likely. Bots will just randomly shoot for no reason, as long as... I don't break both of my fucking legs on accident. Well, I get to show you how health works. So I have a fracture right now and pain, which I don't have anything to heal that fracture or that pain. So I'm going to have to just hope that this guy over here has something to do that. He does have an AK though, which I will take gladly. There's a searching mechanic that you do have to do where you can search through these guys' pockets, which is what I did here. Luckily, this guy had an Esmerac, which I'm pretty sure can be used to heal, fla heal fractures. I know, I answered my own question. You cannot use the heal fractures, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to find somebody with a heal kit. Somebody is shooting at me, which I am not a massive fan of, but luckily they can't hit shit. This guy is kind of being a dickhead. I'm just gonna kind of hope that one of these bodies has something on it to help me. Do you have, excuse me, do you have any uh, stuff for fractures? Do you have any heal, stuff for heal fractures? I need something. I broke my leg. I gotta, yeah. Okay. I just need one thing. I can give you some rubles if you want those. I can use it. I don't know where the extract is here. Uh, it's not here right now. Um, the only, it's at the grotto. You gotta go off the shore. 
Here you go, there's 40,000 for you. The the Rubles is right here. 12. Did that drop? Did yeah, it drop? I, I threw a serve 12 down. Do they drop in raid? Oh, I found it, thank you. So this guy's actually pretty nice and draw me a serve to borrow. So, so. I actually never played this map. This is my first run through. I, I don't know where the extract are. I can try to show you where it is. We can dual extract together. That works. All right, I gotta wait a minute for my fracture to go away. I actually broke my leg coming here, so <laughs> it had a use on it. Yeah, you're good. So there are, so if you double tap O, you can see this map right now has side tunnel, path to shoreline and scab hideout. So side tunnel, we can go together if you want to. It's just straight this way. Oh, I didn't know you could co-op uh, side tunnel. I thought you had to be a scab and PMC. No, you can, I think it's, you can be a friend, you can be two scabs or a PMC and a scab because you just need two people for it. All right, got it. Or if that doesn't work, we can always run up that road and then around the bend, there'll be a um, scab exit. We can try. I was trying to avoid that one because it's also the PMC one, but I don't know. So it's just it should be just through this door right here. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna try that one. Yeah, it says cooperate with PMC. Okay, yeah, I can I can lead you to the other one then. Yeah, this one this one's the easier one. It's just up the road, so we can just go up there together. Yeah, it's the southern one. Is I just fucked up and fell off a building and broke my leg. I took it off a cliff and it wasn't even that tall. Yeah, I fell like 10 feet and like my entire leg shattered. Paper bones. People have been shooting a lot for some reason. Yeah, I've heard that. Is it? Is this like good for scabs? Like good map for rubles? This map is good for like general things. Like it isn't good for one thing. It's good for general things. So if you ever need like construction equipment or shit like that, you're gonna be more towards the road. Food and stuff like that, you're gonna go towards more of the um, house areas. And then up top resort is, you can find like a bunch of military gear. Yeah, there's the like tennis court area and there's a bunch of crates there. Looted that. Yeah, that is about where we're, where everything is pretty much. All right, <laughs> you've been super fucking helpful, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I've played this map a bunch just because it's fun to do and easy to do. So I've been, I'm kind of new. I've been struggling for like years, so I, uh, I'm not been going out with my PMC. Uh, yeah, I've only gone out twice with my PMC. Died both times. I pretty much only run Factory because it's the only map I know. This map is definitely nice for Scav. Fact, uh, PMC, this map's a little harder because everybody has a very kill on sight mentality now. Normally you would say Bridge by Outgrove if it was a PMC exit, so I think we are fine. If if there is a PMC up here, I'd be kind of shocked. But this guy doesn't seem like he's going to try to kill me anytime soon, so I'm gonna, I'm not going to be so, I guess, aggressive towards him. I'm, I, I'm not gonna be a dickhead, you know. If he tries anything, I, I have a full auto gun and he doesn't, so. Um, at the shoreline, should be right here. But if you guys did make it this far, please leave a like and subscribe yeah. if you did enjoy. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Sorry about that. At the shoreline is like way up in the mountain area. Grotto, we can get to. We have what? 15 minutes? Yeah, we can get to that along the shoreline. But we just went the complete opposite way. I apologize for that. No, you're good, dude. <laughs> so I completely led this guy absolutely astray and I feel like shit because I didn't mean to do that to him. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuck with him because he does he seems like a solid dude. I'm not gonna just blow his fucking ass out. That's not fair to him. I he I wanna How like long have you been playing this game? Not very long. Maybe like ten hours. I don't even know how long. I just keep doing practice runs on maps and like trying to learn them and shit i have like a five man that we play with but we're all like really new so i you can look up extract points online that's what i have right now i've just been going through like a run and then just running to an extract through the map so it's just repetition honestly there's only like two extracts for pmcs here that like have no requirements right it's northern and southern yeah most of this is a very scav sided map I'll be sure to start doing this one a little bit more. Yeah, so the one we just went to was Southern Road, if I'm not wrong. And then the um, one that we're going to right now across the shoreline is going to be the Grotto. Sometimes there's a scav hideout area. If you try to go in towards that island, you will most likely get sniped because there is, I think, a boss over there. There's a guy ahead of us, by the way. Kind of looks scabby, but I'm not sure. I'm just... Uh, he had a big backpack on, which kind of scares me, so... And it looks like he's going towards the scab exit, so... If you want, we can go across the shore. That will give us more cover from everywhere, pretty much. But it looks like that guy is going there, so... Yeah, I was gonna say, I just saw him to the left. Just wanna run through here so that we're not in sight of all of the resort area. 
Yeah, he seems pretty solid. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be an asshole and just completely fuck him over because that's not fair to him. I wouldn't want that happen to me and honestly that doesn't really no one deserves that. This game is about having fun and fucking with people isn't fun. We can keep running this way, and so pretty much Leah. Whole lot of death over here. I was like wondering where all the scavs were and then I just end up seeing like ten of them right here. So editing punk here, I did eventually get this guy to the grotto and did extract with him. Unfortunately, my mic did disconnect, so even though there was some conversation between running around, he probably couldn't hear it, and neither could you guys, because there was no mic there. I apologize, that is my fault. I didn't get a notification or anything like that. Because you probably didn't get to see much of that, but I did get a pretty decent haul. Here's what I actually got right now. Now, this isn't the best thing in the world, but it isn't terrible. I did get that serve kit off that guy. 40k for a serve kit is a little high, but you know what? There's not much we can do about that. If you guys do want me to do a video where I'm actually running around like PMC, I will go into like a combat type of situation like you're seeing here and just run around and show you guys how combat works. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want more car call, let me know in the comments below. Hope you have an amazing rest of your guys' day. I'll see you guys next time, and bye-bye. If you're that guy that I met, I'm glad I could help.